All right, Luna, you got one job. Keep an eye out for Mommy. Can you do that? If you can, just stare at me blankly and don't make any... Oh, damn it. Do it anyway. Welcome, everyone, to Chaz's channel, Shaft1515. And I want to do a quick video here. It's going to be an introduction video on a fixer-up that I have for an arcade cabinet. This is a Centipede arcade cabinet that I bought for my wife. It's the end of September now. I'm hoping to have this fixed up and completed before Christmas time. It's got a little bit of damage to it. Overall, pretty good condition. Centipede is her favorite game. She is not a gamer other than literally this game. This is the only game she plays, and she is very, very good at it. Now, I'm not that good with electronics or anything of that sort, but I follow directions very well. Let's grab my flashlight. We're going to take a look inside. But I am fairly confident I can fix this thing. I do make reproductions, as I've mentioned. I will have a video on that sooner or later. Also, I have fixed my CPS2 boards for my Marvel Super Heroes machine. I have a bunch of those boards. Some of them were fried. Uh, they're called Suicided. And it's the uh, battery dies out, and it's supposed to keep the board from being played or pirated specifically. I'll go a little more into the history when I do a video on that. But this is what it looks like. It's very dusty, very dirty on the inside. Some of the parts probably got loosened. I'm hoping that's what a lot of the problems are. I've tried plugging it in earlier today. It does turn on. Uh, I get a white screen, but there is power going to it, so that's that's a plus right there. At least I know it's got power. Uh, there's that's the that's the board, by the way. Uh, not familiar with all these other parts. I have been looking up a lot of YouTube videos. The good thing is there are a lot of videos on fixing these machines, so I'm fairly confident that I got a lot of good source material to go with. There's the I forgot what that's called, the interlock switch, something like that. But the back of it has to be on in order for it to work. But either way, this is going to be an introduction video. First video that I'm going to be doing for this. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is going to be part one, kind of an introduction of showing what it is, where it's at right now, and uh, kind of giving a once around of what I plan on doing. So stick around, hopefully we can get this thing fixed and going, and I'll be recording my progress from there. So thanks for watching this quick little video, and I'll see you next time.